Hey everyone, so there's not much of an image here, just the moon, because it's dark and I'm out on a little night walk to clear my mind and it's a good thing. But uh, what I want to talk to you about is something that's relevant to everyone for the most part. Unless you have, like, the world's most understanding parents ever, we all have to deal with a little bit of that parental judgment from time to time, particularly around the holidays. Um, it's early December here, so we've just gotten together for Thanksgiving here in the U.S., and, and we're going to be having the whole host of various holidays that this melting pot celebrates, and... Every, everybody getting together with their families can usually stir up a little bit of drama. And so these are kind of some things that I want to make known that are really useful things to remember when, when encountering these scenarios. Um, so I feel like one of the most important things that you can do when you're dealing with harsh judgment is to take a deep breath <laughs> and kind of calm yourself through that deep breath and really listen to what the other person has to say. Even if you know 100% that it is not right for you to do what it is that they think you should be doing in your life, even if you know it 100%, still listen because this is going to let them know that you appreciate that they care and that you understand that they're actually coming from a place of love and that they want you to have a happy life and they just don't understand that that particular path isn't necessarily the right one for you. It's just the way that they feel is best and if you let them know that just through you listening and saying, you know, that, like, I know that you're, that you care, and I really appreciate that you're taking, you know, the time and energy to, to, uh, offer me advice, like, that'll go a long way in having them be more receptive to what you have to say. And at times, you know, our, our tempers can get the better of us when we're like, oh, I can't believe you're judging me for this again. We've been over this a thousand times. I just want you to accept me and let me walk my own path. I've had plenty of moments like that. I actually had a moment sort of like that tonight, which is what inspired me to make this video. Because during this walk, I was thinking, you know, what are some of the ways that I could have made that a smoother talk? And I was doing my best and letting her know that, you know, I appreciate that, you know, she's offering what she's offering and, and at the same time, you know, strongly standing my ground and saying, I know that this is what's right for me to do. You know, I know that my passion for living a life that is fulfilling and that makes a difference in the planet, the way that people live on the planet, the way that people interact with each other in nature, teaching people that there are more options than what they grew up with, that that is so important to me, that, yeah, I'm going to do some crazy things in order to make that happen. I'm, I might have to travel around and, and be a part of crazy projects, and I might not work a stable 9 to 5 job doing something that's really unfulfilling to me, because, honestly, emotionally, I can't handle that. I can't handle just doing the same monotonous work every day if it doesn't align with my heart and with my purpose. And so, yeah, that's why I make these videos. That's why, you know, I'm going to be doing some woofing this year and and I'm just yeah, doing my best to live my live my passion and and I was not well received and we won't always be well received. But as long as we keep doing our best 
and and communicate as clearly and as appreciatively and lovingly as we can in each scenario at least we'll feel better about ourselves in the process and we'll be able to relax afterwards and you know it took me coming out and like singing some random songs that I was making up about <laughs> just whatever was coming out and um, you know looking at the moon and thinking about what just happened for me to calm down but you know what in the end I know that even though I might be misunderstood and I might be judged I know that I'm loved I know that I'm cared about and I know that I love and care about my family and that if it weren't for them, I would not be here. And I, I feel like just the fact that they brought me into this world, you know, I appreciate them so much for that, that even if everything else was wrong, which everything else is not wrong, there's a lot of good, it would still be okay. Because I'm still here and I can still do what's important to me because of them whether they support me in that or not and that's okay that's a beautiful thing so when you get together with your family if anything comes up there might be a controversial topic. I hope that you remember to take a deep breath. Remember that they love you. And remember that you love them. And that no matter what you think about each other's choices in life, you still have that love. And when you remember that, there will be at least a little bit more respect. At least enough for you to be able to have a nice civil conversation <laughs> and hopefully not have to go for too long of a walk afterwards. <laughs> so... Keep doing your best. And... Keep doing everything you can to make your life and your world much, much more beautiful every day. Because I can't do it all by myself. <laughs> Alright everyone, take care.